Hello everyone, my name is Brie and welcome to Documented Journey. Today's video is going to be a Quebeco review. I wanted to first start with the first pen that I purchased. I don't want to say this is the first pen because it's technically not, it's the second. But regardless, I was introduced to this pen from Alicia over at Adventure Denali. She did a whole review on this pen and I kind of fell in love with it and I purchased it in the fountain pen version and quickly realized that I don't use fountain pen. What was I thinking? They sell a gel roller. And so I sold that and I purchased this. This is the Quiveco Brass Sport in gel roller. And I absolutely love this pen. I use it every day for my journaling. This pen has a gold plated clip. This clip is called the Sport Nostalgia Octagonal Clip and it is in gold. So this was my very first pen and then I kind of moved on from there. My second one that I purchased was this. It's another brass, but it is the pencil version, the mechanical pencil version. And with this one, I went ahead and got the clip that goes with it, but in chrome. It's the same style, the octagonal nostalgia clip. I love this pen. It also has an eraser at the top and I utilize this for more detailed sketches. The next pen I purchased is the Quiveco All Sport. This is the Stonewash in Blue. It is probably, if I had to choose one out of all of them, this is my pen. The weight of this pen is perfect and it is metal. I love the fact that it is a metal pen. This is the Stonewash version blue and it is a gel roller as well. I would love to see Quiveco expand their Stonewashed collection. I think that would be really fun to see maybe like an olive green in this like distressed look. But regardless, I love the blue uh, and I am so glad that I have it. In here, I keep my ballpoint pen and it's what I do most of my sketches with. The last one I purchased was this. I just had to. It's a special edition. I was afraid that I would never get a hold of it again. And so I just grabbed it. I have a black clip on here. It's the same one, the nostalgia one. And I got this in a medium fountain pen nib. Now this I use for inking some illustrations, not all. I do use ballpoint a lot, but when I want a black bold line, this is the fountain pen that I go to. Then I'll move on to this section over here. Like I said, Quiveco kindly gifted me these for this review. And so I, I picked three. I picked three, I'm keeping two, and I'm going to give away one. Yes, you heard that correct. This is also a giveaway video. So if you want the full details of that, you have to wait till the end of the video. But these two right here, I am keeping, and I will explain them. This is the first one that I'm gonna talk about. This is another Quiveco Sport, and this is the Skyline collection, and this is the color Macchiato. I got this macchiato in an extra bold fountain pen. This is for me to fill in the backgrounds when I want something to be really dark. I will say that I can use a felt tip fine liner, but I do not like the feeling of those on my paper. And so this just works extra well. So these two pens right here are pretty much my fine liners for my illustrations. The next one I'm gonna talk about is the Quiveco Sport. Again, I really like this style, but this one is different because it is a pencil. This is called a Classic Sport Clutch Pencil in 3.2 millimeter, and the color is Bordeaux. I love this pencil so, so, so much, and it is definitely because of the size and the thickness of the lead. I wanna first talk about this clip. This clip is different. This is just the Quiveco Sport octagonal clip in gold plated. I purchased this to go with this first and I didn't like it as much and so that's why I bought this and I just kept this. And so then when I got this pen, I slid that on there and it was perfect. I really like the look of this. My favorite way to use this is to hold it in my hand like this and then use my whole arm to sketch. I get really thick, bold lines with this pencil 
and it creates really loose sketches for me. Now for a sneak peek of the giveaway. I really wanted to try a ballpoint pen version because I always purchased the gel pens. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the ballpoint. I was really excited about the size of this pen and just the, all of, I love, I've always wanted a lily put. And so I thought that this would be a really good addition to my collection. However, I wanted to use this for sketching. And when you look at the ink capacity in this pen, it is just not gonna work for me considering how much ballpoint I use, right? So this pen is the Lily Put Ballpoint in Silver. It has a really fun click mechanism. So satisfying how it clicks down. And then I also got the Chrome Nostalgia Clip. I love this little pen and I think that it would do really well in a little bitty pocket Nolte planner or a passport size planner. Sadly, it's just not something that I utilize and so I thought this would be perfect for a giveaway. I will have all the details of this giveaway at the end of the video and so we'll, you'll just have to stay tuned for that. What I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to kind of show these pins in action. I'm gonna go outside, I'm going to grab a, an azalea flower to sketch and then we are going to hop into my notebook and I'm gonna sketch things out and show you how I use them and how I feel about them and what exactly each pen holds on the inside so that way you get a feel of how these pens work. All right, I hope you had a great time picking this little flower with me. So now I want to set it down in a way that you can see it and I can sketch it. So let's just put it there and I'm gonna set these all through here. And I am just going to kind of run through here and show you how I use them. The first pencil that I start off with is the special. It is the ballpoint. I feel like this pencil is it. It is really easy to find lead replacements and it is a good weight. I hold really far back on the pencil so that way I'm sketching. I get really loose and I don't know, just more free lines and I really enjoy that. Then I go ahead and grab the 3.2 millimeter lead pencil and I just kind of sketch in the values. Do you see how I hold that pencil? I don't really hold it like it's going to be details. I just hold it so that way I can just get in darker tones. After I sketch in all these dark tones, I set that pencil down and I reach for the olive 
Koiko Sport. Remember that has a medium nib. And the ink inside is carbon black ink. This ink is awesome because when you lay it down on paper and it dries, it is waterproof. I can go ahead and watercolor this later and it will not move. That black ink stays put. After all that outlining, I go ahead and grab my All Sport. This is the ballpoint pen. In here, I have a Bolograph refill, and I have used this refill forever, but there's a hack to getting it to be able to use in pens like this. I have that hack saved on my Instagram page, and I walk you through how to put a different plastic cap on the end to make sure that it fits into this pen. Now it could fit into this pen regardless if you don't change that. It just doesn't extend the nib all the way and so it feels kind of weird. Um, but if you're interested in that hack, it's over on my Instagram, saved under my stories. If I had to pick a favorite pen out of my collection, this one would definitely be it. The next pen that I pick up is the Macchiato. It is the extra bold, and this is perfect for filling in any kind of background or adding shadows to your work. It just creates a beautiful, bold line. After I fill in all these dark lines, I want to go ahead and label it. This brass pen is normally my everyday writer. I write in my journal with it. I'm just going to sign it. It has Uni Jetstream ink inside. I hope you enjoyed this video of me using all my Quiveco pens. It was a pleasure. I absolutely love these pens to death. I would definitely get on board with more colors in the stone wash family, but I understand they don't answer to me. So if you stuck around to the end, I am giving away this pen right here. It is the Lilliput Ballpoint. Then what I need you to do is in the comments below, please let me know what you would use this pen for. I will have a video on YouTube showcasing the winner and you must be subscribed to this channel. I hope that you enjoyed this video and a little showcase of the Quiveco line that I own. And until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.